Hello and welcome to the latest Crafty Simulations video featuring the Diamond DA42 by Cows. Now, we've actually done a few of these videos before, um, and I mean the update videos to this amazing aircraft. And we've actually had 1.0.5 now is available to download. So this is going to be a small video. I've got two things to cover. Like I said, I've got the update to, to cover, but I've also got um, some purchases that I made separately um, that I'm going to go into um, after I've gone through the update. So, uh, as we all know, I love the Cows DA42. I think it's an amazing aircraft. And I'll, I go through the updates and create these videos and go through the official changelog that cows have come up with for the various ver various versions and I then give it like a, a little description in my eyes to, tr to see what it is they've done. Now in 1.0.4 there wasn't really too much um, tweak done but 1.0.5 there is something a little bit more. Um, we have, okay first of all we have refined engine fuselage and overall 3D polygon shading. Now this goes into um, the type of update we've had. Okay, this is a graphical update for the aircraft. Uh, they've tweaked a lot of things uh, regarding what we look at in and on the aircraft. So, like I said, refined engine, fuselage, and overall 3D polygon shading. Now, basically what this means in my humble layman's terms is they've basically refined a lot of the polygons of the 3D effects um, that go into the creation of a flight simulator aircraft. Okay, so on the engine, the fuselage, and the overall 3D polygon, sh polygon even shading. So it looks, um, I'm not gonna say it looks better because this looked an amazing aircraft to start off with, but it is now being tweaked and fettled into looking, um, looking, yeah, looking better than uh, what it came out at before 1.0.5. So we also have refined and sharpened textures. Okay, so the textures you're seeing, or the repaint you see in front of you now, is the famous Leading Edge Aviation DA42 that I feature in all my videos. And it is an official repaint. It is part of the training pack, I think they called it. I can't remember, but it's on Orbex. Um, so basically they've refined and sharpened the textures that we see here on the aircraft. So things look a little bit pin sharp uh, when it comes to the fuselage of this aircraft. Uh, we also have refined model wide reflections and roughness. Okay, so they've refined um, the reflections of the aircraft. So you can see currently, if I just get the angle just right, we've got the sun just reflecting off the rear compartment here. Now, I always thought this aircraft looked really, really good when it comes to its reflections and how light falls across what is a very elegant looking aircraft. Um, if we move Bob out of the way, um, you can see here on the nose, um, the, the way the light falls, the reflections of the engine nacelles and the various bits of equipment that are around the aircraft. It looks really, really good. And I know, I mean, I don't know how to create a flight simulator aircraft, but I know that a curved surface is a hard thing to create in flight simulator um, and things like the engine covers the uh, nose cones here again they're quite well they're reflective metal so they would reflect a lot of stuff and again it looks like a really good job has gone into every curve and facet of this aircraft I mean when it came out it looked amazing and now it looks even more amazing. Um, we've also had added model-wide dirt details. Now, there are people out there that like their flight simulator aircraft to look like they've just come out of the factory. And I've got nothing against that. Um, but with a working aircraft, you don't get that. So what you want is dirt to be on the aircraft. And as you can see here, we have, obviously near the exhaust, obviously, we have uh, staining on the engine nacelles. We also have um, a darkening area here on the uh, side of the fuselage. Again, anywhere from the engine that's not in direct flow of the, of the airflow, um, we have staining that basically piles up on the aircraft. 
Uh, if I actually switch to, and I hate this drone camera, I really do. Um, yeah, if I switch now, see, see that? Right where the fuel flap is, we can see dots. Obviously at this close, they're not exactly pin sharp, but at a normal range, they, they look really realistic. But again, what we have here is dirt piling up on the aircraft, because this is a working aircraft. Um, if I can manage to, under, I, like I said, I don't use a drone camera if I'm perfectly honest that often. So if we go underneath the aircraft, you can see better the staining from the exhaust section. Um, you can also see, I don't know what section this is um, on the aircraft, but you can see the screws. You can see the marks streaking uh, dirt and other artifacts that are coming off the aircraft in the airflow and the base is streaking off the aircraft uh, again off what I presume to be the anti-ice system I don't know whether the aircraft has uh, boots on the wings it could be heating for the wings I'm not sure or strength and leading edge but again you've got streaking of various bits of dirt um, that are on the aircraft if we move hopefully yeah not that far yeah this is why I don't like it Right, again, so the, underneath the belly of the aircraft, again, you've got a massive streaking of um, dirt, grime, oil, grease, you know, all the stuff that is on this aircraft. And it makes, I think, the aircraft look, in my view, a lot better. Um, if I can just... I, like I say, I hate this thing with a passion. So let's see what else we got while I, I while I go around with that camera. So we also have fixed various 3D shading anomalies. Okay, now like I said at the start, uh, this aircraft has always to me looked very well done, um, but there was also things in the aircraft and on the aircraft that can be tweaked and changed as time goes on. So basically, they fixed some of the 3D shading anomalies that may have crept up in the aircraft in the creation of the aircraft before. Uh, 1.0.5 um, So basically all these little niggly little bits, okay grouped under the graphical um, section of the update which I think is fantastic um, It does make for a very very good looking aircraft uh, I think we can all agree that the DA-42 in reality is a fantastic looking aircraft Diamond really do know how to make some cracking aircraft um, and this is now starting to really become an absolutely amazing um, aircraft here in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Now the last part of the update I think is also one of the most important ones and that is quite simply put no need to update liveries. Okay so if you've installed liveries now this livery like I say is part of a training pack but if there are liveries for the aircraft on flightsim.to I will assume that to basically mean that any updates, any uh, sorry texture packs that you put on to your DA42 will automatically feature these new um, grime, oil, stained you know effects that make the aircraft a more realistic aircraft here in Microsoft Flight Simulator. I think that's amazing. There's a lot of times when updates when it comes through from a company that breaks things like repaints, you end up with pink textures, uh, blotches on the aircraft because something doesn't quite add up on the texture pack to the actual original aircraft. Well this here by cows means the update has come through and should in theory all textures that have been put onto various websites um, should feature the new um, graphical uh, graphics uh, update that we've had here in 1.0.5 so again a fantastic update here by cows I think it's absolutely amazing um, I'm, I'm quite happy with the lifespan of the aircraft that's going on the work that's going on in the background to make this aircraft which is a great aircraft to make it an even better aircraft here in the sim now more on to the second part of this video um, I said originally, if, I don't know, a few videos ago, that I was going to purchase some DA42 merchandise. And I've got two items here. Um, I've actually purchased the official checklist for the Diamond DA42 in real aviation terms. Not flight simulator terms, we are talking real aviation. It's a flip chart and it covers things like the preliminary checks. 
external checks, internal checks before engine start, engine start procedure and checks, autopilot tests during taxi and before takeoff checks, climb, cruise and after uh, landing checks. And we also have the dreaded uh, fire on the ground, fire in flight, total electrical failure, engine restart. This is the real checklist that real pilots will use if they fly the DA-42. Now, what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to create a multi-part video which is going to go through me using the official checklist on the Cows DA-42. And let's see just how realistic this is. Um, obviously, there are things that do not need to be done, uh, things like the preliminary check. Um, so basically, um, things like the tie downs, pitot cover, external control locks, covers and chocks removed and stowed. Obviously, we don't do that in flight simulator. We don't need to worry about that. But I am going to go through as much of this as I possibly can. This will make it a long video. Okay, there's no doubt about this. This is um, there's the in cabin section. Okay. For the preliminary checks is a 26 part check that you have to go through every single part of this to basically when you walk to the aircraft and get in the aircraft these are the things that you need to check so again i'm going to split this video up i don't know how i'm going to do or where i'm going to split it i think i'm going to do like the ground work up till the takeoff as one video the flight as a second video and the landing and uh, basically turning off the engines um and stopping the aircraft as uh, part three of a video so that's probably going to be coming up fairly soon i haven't actually tried this yet in the flight simulator so that'll be interesting um the other merchandise part that i have had in my flight sim collection for absolutely donkey's years i'm actually trying to find the original one um i have in my collection and i use this part of vfr flying is the VFR flight guide for the UK. Now this is every single airfield and airport and military airbase that was current as of this book here I've got now, which is the 2006 edition, um, and it gives you all the runway lengths, the uh, hazards you need to look at, um, the taxiways, uh, what they're labelled as, all that kind of stuff. I think it's actually really, really useful. If you're flying VFR, which let's face it, I am, um, books like this are integral. Now, like I said, that's 2006, so it's, it is quite out of date. So, I've actually purchased the Pooley's Flight Guide for the United Kingdom. And this is the 62nd edition of the Pooley's Flight Guide. This thing's been going on since from 1962 right up to 2024. And I have got the 2024 version. And it's a massive book. Uh, ring folder and all that and it's got again all the airfields uh, labeled out um, again it's more for the real aviation pilot uh, but things that we can use here in a flight simulator run runway lengths um, hazards all that kind of stuff because remember flight simulator 2020 has a lot of the hazards that are on real world are in the flight sim so we can use that as a guide um, so what i usually have is the airfield i'm flying into uh, i'll have this set up already on the book and I'll be able to look basically what runway I'm going into, what I need to be looking out for, all that sort of stuff. So I'm going to be using that in the videos. I'm well, using that in lots of flights and not just the videos. So I have been blagging on now for quite a while. So I will basically say that um, this has been the update 1.0.5 update video for the Cows DA42. If you have any questions or comments about this video, uh, please put them below and I'll get around to them as soon as I can. And we will be getting back to the uh, proper series of videos for the Leading Edge Aviation DA-42. We will be flying out of Gamston Airport. And we'll be flying, I think, back to Waddington before we're doing our flight over to the home of this particular aircraft, which is London, Oxford. So, like I say, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And I will see you in a future Flight Simulator video very, very soon.